Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. In this session, we will see how to find out the value of cot 7 and half degrees. We know values of 30 degrees, 45 degrees, I mean trigonometric ratios trigonometric ratios of 30 degrees, 45 degrees and 65 degrees. Now using this two I can find out 15 degrees and from 15 degrees by using submultiple angle formula we should be able to find out 7 and half degrees. So first we will leverage 30 and 45 to for find out 15 degrees, 45 minus 30 is 15 degrees then we will do submultiple angle of 15 that's nothing but 7 and half so first let's find out what is the value of cos 15 and sin 15 so that we can understand what is the value of cot 15 then cot 7 and half we can write down cot 15 is cos 15 first we'll find out cos 15 so we can write down cos 15 is cos of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees we know the formula cos of a minus b is cos a cos b so cos 45 degrees cos 30 degrees plus sin 45 degrees and sin 30 degrees cos 45 is 1 by root 2 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 plus sin 45 is 1 by root 2 and sin 30 equal to 1 by 2. After simplification we will see that this value is root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2. Now once we know cos 15 equal to root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 we can also find out what is sin 15 sin 15 is equal to cos of 75 by using complementary angle formula and cos of 75 is cos of 45 plus 30 can I apply cos of a plus b formula that is cos 45 degrees cos 30 degrees minus sin 45 degrees sin 30 degrees cos a cos b minus sin a sin b cos 45 is 1 by root 2 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 minus sin 45 is 1 by root 2 sin 30 is 1 by 2 which is equal to root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 so we know cos 15 we know sin 15 so we can easily find out cot 15 now now let's use the formula that cot theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by sin 2 theta this is the formula we have here now 2 theta is equal to 15 degrees and theta is 7 and half degrees so cot 7 and half is 1 plus cos 15 divided by sin 15 we can do this in so many ways this is one of the easier way so we have selected this particular way now we know cos 2 theta is root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 and sin 2 theta is root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 we have to substitute after that we have to do rationalization we will get our cot 7 and half so we will substitute the values now we will say that in this particular scenario theta equal to 7 and half in this scenario theta equal to 7 and half 2 theta equal to 15 degrees so I can go back and write down cot 7 and half is equal to 1 plus cos 15 that is 1 plus root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 divided by sin 15 
that is root 3 minus 1 root 3 minus 1 root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2 simplification we can see that denominator 2 root 2 2 root 2 will cancel we'll get 2 root 2 plus root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 minus 1 now we will rationalize that we'll multiply with root 3 plus 1 numerator and denominator so that we can easily rationalize the denominator and we can get the answer so it will be 2 root 2 plus root 3 plus 1 into root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 root 3 minus 1 into root 3 plus 1 which is equal to let's multiply this 2 root 2 into root 3 is 2 root 6 2 root 2 into 1 is 2 root 2 next root 3 into 1 is root 3 again 1 into root 3 is one more root 3 we have so can I say 2 root 3 after that we have root 3 into root 3 is 3 3 plus 1 4 now this everything we will divide by a minus b into a plus b which is equal to a square minus b square so that is equal to 2 so we can go back and write down 2 simplify that dividing by 2 we get root 2 plus root 3 plus root 6 plus 2 or I can also write it as 2 root 2 plus root 3 2 can be written as root 4 so that we can easily remember the formula so cot 7 and half is given by root 2 plus root 3 plus root 4 plus root 6 we can do this in another way also once we know cos 15 we can find out cos square 7 and half that is 1 plus cos 15 then we can also find out sin square 7 and half that is 1 minus cos 15 then we can do square root and we can do that let us look at that method also now once we know that cos 15 equal to root 3 plus 1 2 root 2 we will leverage the formula that 2 cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta and 2 sin square theta equal to 1 minus of cos 2 theta if you divide one by the other you will get cot square theta equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 1 minus cos 2 theta here again theta is 7 and half and 2 theta equal to 15 so I can write down cot square 7 and half is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta that is 1 plus root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 divided by 1 minus root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 which is equal to 2 root 2 plus root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2 minus root 3 minus 1 we'll rationalize this now so we'll multiply with 2 root 2 plus root 3 plus 1 we'll multiply with 2 root 2 plus root 3 plus 1 so that we can rationalize the denominator so multiplying with 2 root 2 plus root 3 plus 1 in this scenario we are considering 2 root 2 as a and root 3 plus 1 as b so this is a minus b into a plus b so we can go to the next step and write down that's equal to in the numerator I will have 2 root 2 I'll have 2 root 2 plus root 3 plus 1 whole square and in the denominator I have a square minus b square that is 2 root 2 whole square minus of root 3 plus 1 whole square can be written as 2 root 2 plus root 3 plus 1 whole square divided by let's simplify the denominator 2 root 2 whole square is 8 minus of 
root two plus root three plus one whole square is three plus one plus two root three. So simplification, it will become two root two plus root three plus one whole square divided by eight minus four, that is four minus two root three. So we know that cot square seven and half is equal to I'll write down here otherwise cot square seven and half is equal to two root two plus root three plus one whole square divided by four minus two root three, which can be written as three plus one minus two root three. A square plus b square minus two a b. So can I write it as two root two plus root three plus one whole square divided by root three minus one whole square. So now since cot square seven and half is that, we will get cot seven and half is equal to taking square root on both sides. We will have two root two plus root three plus one divided by root three minus one, which is like earlier what we got. Now we will multiply with root 3 plus 1 to rationalize and once we simplify after a couple of steps we will get the answer as root 2 plus root 3 plus root 4 or 2 plus root 6 that is a value of cot 7 and half. So let us summarize this how we looked into this. We have to find out the value of 7 and half. So once we know 30, 45, 60 degrees we can get cos 15 value by taking cos of 45 minus 30 compound angle formula and sin 15 value again sin 15 is cos 75 so cos of a plus b formula cos of a minus b formula we got the values of cos 15 sin 15 we know that cot 7 and half is nothing but 1 plus cos 15 divided by sin 15 that is one way we can do Otherwise, we can find out cos square 7 and half, sin square 7 and half separately, divide one by the other, then take square root and rationalize it. We will get the answer root 2 plus root 3 plus root 4 plus root 6.